Hey YouTube, this is College Toot. Just going to show you a tutorial about how to use the auto aligning layers tool. And this one's pretty cool uh, because you can make some good panoramic pictures, or you can make some super, super high resolution photos, or you can um, m create multiple instances of people in the same picture. And the third one is what I'm going to be showing you today. And so, all right here, I have all these three pictures. And as you can see, it's this guy on this wood plank. And he's on multiple he's on multiple wood planks. And what I'll be doing is I'll be combining him all in one picture, and so you can see all three of him at the same time. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new file. And right now I just have this around 6,000 by 2,500 pixels wide at 72 pixels per inch. This is just so I can have a big file, just so I can put all my files um, to and stuff. And so I'm just going to uh, just click in the center of one of my pictures and then just drag over to my new file and then I'll minimize it so I know I'm done there you go and then I'll just drag again and then I'll minimize and then I'll just drag again and then I'll minimize so now I have these three oops so now I have these three pictures um, and they're all just on the canvas and to help the computer out what it usually what I usually like to do is just kinda move it in the um, general area that I think that the picture should be and so um, so like this picture I know is going to be towards the beginning and this one is going to be towards the end and so so that, that looks about right then I'm going to select all three layers I'm just going to click on the top layer hold down shift and then click on the bottom layer to select them all and then I'm going to go edit auto align layers and then there's auto perspective cylindrical and reposition only and just do auto right now because the other ones give you some advantages but we're just going to deal with auto right now and click OK. And then this is usually a pretty hard process for your computer. And so I'm just going to um, pause it right now so it can save you guys this time. All right, I'll come back when it's ready. OK, so here it goes. It's almost done. I'm just going to let it load real quick. One tip that you can do is you can, um, before you auto align them, you can make your whole image smaller by going up to image, image size, and then making it smaller. And so as you can see here, what it did, um, what it did was, is it repositioned the layers. But I do not need any of this white space, and so I'm going to take out my crop tool, and I'm just going to crop out the area that I need. And so that looks pretty good. And so you, it gives you a little preview of what it's going to look like. Then click the check mark up here, and then so then here you go. And so as you can see here, if I um, toggle the visibility of the top layer, the top layer goes away. So the the picture looks about the same but the person's in a different spot. Then if I toggle the next top, uh, the second layer, you can see the last person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the top layer and I'm going to pull out my eraser tool. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see where the next person is. And so you can see it's on the second wood plank right here. I'm going to take out my eraser tool and I'm just going to erase right here. And so you can see another guy just popped out. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see there's another guy just coming on the second plank right here. So I'm going to take my um, top tool Top, top layer and eraser tool and erase just right here and nothing's happening because there's still the second layer that I need to erase and so I'm going to click on the second layer and then I'll, then I'll erase again and then here you go so now there's three instances of the same guy in the same picture and that's a really cool way you can use auto aligning and there's another mode that people usually like to do it's called auto blend but auto blending is good for um, it's right here it's right under auto align. It, it's good for panoramic pictures and for other things, but not very good for um, trying to show three people or show multiple people. And so, yeah, that's this tutorial. Hope it worked out for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some cool videos. Um, yeah, hope you have a good day. Bye.